What's going on everybody? Boss Man Trucker here in Big Maroon. Today it is Friday, September 25th, 2020. Local time of 3.56 p.m. Central time, currently located in Plover, Wisconsin. Temperature 79 degrees as we are journeying on to our pickup here at Lineage and uh, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Everything's going good so far. It's out here doing my thing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Okay, so they got a white water tower and a black water tower. <laughs> That's weird. See that? I'm doing pretty good, just another day. So once again, we're picking up here at Lineage, Stevens Point, bound for uh, Keller, Texas. Kroger for Sunday. No, I don't got it on GPS. I know how to get there. Maybe. If I don't get lost. I don't get lost. I believe we go this way. Yep. <laughs> Hope y'all have gonna have a wonderful weekend or whatever y'all do and whatever y'all do, just be safe on it. Have fun and Enjoy it. I believe it this exit. I believe it's this exit. Welcome to Stevens Point, Wisconsin. I believe we make a right here at the light here. <laughs> Pizza Ranch. That place good. Anybody tried it there? Make this left here at the light. Is that Martin? I believe I could have went where that truck went though. I like going this way. I think I seen John go that way too. Either way, it don't matter. I go this way. Anybody want some Starbucks? Want to go buy some fancy tools at Lowe's? Oh, hopefully they're not too busy. Hopefully they're able to get us in and out, and hopefully they don't overweight us, overload us, I mean, I do have tensions in doing that, 
to where I have to come back. I hate it when that happens. Then you have to sit there and come back and have it rework the load and uh, pushes you back even more. But it happens. This way. As far as the new people I'll be going with, someone asked me if I'm gonna be able to record and stuff. Yes, I mentioned that many a times. I was trying to go there before um, I mentioned to them about it and they were kind of cool with it so I know they don't mind it We'll get into more about them in details when we get close to it. Right now we'll deal with here and that's it. That's the place in front of us. <laughs> See, I told you I didn't get y'all lost. Although I can't guarantee that, though. But you know what I mean. Hey, you want to trade? I take that. You take this. All the way to Texas. There's one intersection I do not like. You got that hill up there, sometimes you got something coming over there and not. Once that clear sometimes and it's up here. Da 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 da. Come on, Mr. Cars. Now we're good to go. Not the driver where the bus is coming out of. Don't miss y'all's bus though. It's the next driveway. Yeah, and they look busy. They look pretty darn busy today. Sometimes they'll give you a door right away. Sometimes. I don't understand why those guys park there. I mean, you're supposed to park at the spaces, not there.
happy to build. exercising you know what I mean We'll see y'all later, right? What's going on, everybody? Boss Man Trucker here in Big Maroon, located at Lineage here in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, at our pickup. Local time of 4:33 p.m. Central Time. We've been assigned to door 28, which is between that plane field and the heat trailer right there. So let's get to it. go this way and back up to set up sign near the door don't mean they'll start loading you right away here you back in with the doors closed they open it from the inside and you slide your tandems to the rear
shot. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. Yes. <laughs> Yay. There we go. I like it. slide the tandems and back it on in or out <laughs> the temperatures at minus 10 that's the temperature setting for this load Good afternoon to everybody, Boss my Trucker here in Big Maroon. Today it is Saturday, September 26, 2020. Local time of 3.12 p.m. Central Time. Current located at the pilot here in Troy, Illinois. Fixing to take off and start our day. Temperature of 82 degrees here in Troy. Let's go. you guys saw on the live stream this is where we did a walkabout those of you were on it thank you very much those of you that missed it they're notifying me on the Facebook just catch the next one then just the way it goes sometimes So let's get this show on the road as we journey on to Keller, Texas. That's where we are on the way to. So it's going to clean up real good. Saturday everybody Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend whatever they do today and most importantly stay safe and have fun I've been doing good just doing my thing Nice Peterbilt. That's just like the one I was mentioning on the live stream. I guess most of you do wash them. I didn't know, but 
I just came across him on Thursday. You know, I got into uh, that delivery point there in Madison and uh, saw him pop up on the recommended list and stuff and kept seeing him like, I'll check it out. So far, you know, it's a pretty decent channel. It's called Life Behind the Wheel. He just posted something today too. So he drives really nice Peterbilt 389. Sounds really nice. 18 speed manual. He's just a company driver. Uh, drives for Leslie Transport out of somewhere Wisconsin. He's from Florida though. Not a bad company either because they got everything set up. They got their own garage. You can work on the truck, wash the truck, trailer. Got to stay on the outside lane. Oh well. They let you put whatever you want on the trucks. You know, no hassle or anything. Which he does too, I mean. spicy chicken tenders pretty good just that though yes on the weekends I do tend to eat out and during the week is when I eat my stuff eat in which I'll probably be eating in tomorrow because we deliver tomorrow afternoon there in Keller and then by the time I wake up I'm ready to eat I think that's all we're doing is delivering tomorrow because I think we're going to be picking up on Monday and I would believe it's Fort Worth, Texas and Dan and going for Allentown because we're picking up in Allentown on Thursday delivering to Costco, Monrovia, Maryland if we're the ones delivering that. Chances are we could be doing the drop and hook at the yard on Friday so Man, I think this timing out is going to go by quick. Oof. Before you know it, I'll be home again. <laughs> Sorry, it takes me a minute to get adjusted. <laughs> Find my groove, my comfortability. Yes, that Leslie transfer. They have nice trucks, but a lot of high dollar equipment though. Oof. That's one of the stuff you really, really want to take care of, you know. Scales closed it's Saturday, it's rarely open. Which 
I think the boss is trying to have that same setup eventually when he gets his own yard, though. It has everything seated closed and bypass. Oh, we're loaded with about 38,676 pounds of french fries and tater puffs, like I mentioned on the live stream. So yesterday when I got loaded, I just took off. Although I did stop at Quick Trip to get some dinner, but that was it. Yes, I know that the live stream was at a place we'd done it before, but I can't help it. You know, that's where my hours put me. I was trying to make it into uh, Sullivan. I don't like the one that John stops at. Not a fan of that one. But usually if I have the hours, I like to already get past St. Louis if I can. But if I can't, you know, it is what it is, you know. Yes, I'm going to try to do as much live stream walkabouts as I can with y'all before it starts to get really cold and that's when it'll stop. Uh, and I'm going to try to cook on the Hot Logic this week, hopefully. Should be able to sometime this week. It sounds like we're going to have time on this next load. stop which should be uh, trying to make it into uh, Oklahoma but I doubt it I guess I should have grabbed it right there in Troy I didn't <laughs> pay attention oh well uh, says about Two eighths of a tank, so that's about 61 gallons. Supposed to 280 some miles. Yeah, I doubt it'll make it to Springfield. Guess I'll have to do Sullivan. to look and see on trucker path if I can make it to Springfield I'll be better preferably uh, Muscogee but I doubt we'll make that <laughs> so we'll wind up grabbing truck DF and go ahead and top off the reefer as well I've been doing good just 
another brand new day of work, another, another brand new day of driving. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit windy today. It was like that yesterday too when I'm coming in. Actually, from the start of Madison all the way here, it was windy. Ooh. Big Maroon's next service should be due by then, and I don't know if we're going to get it done when we're in Maryland, but I think we are, judging by us going towards that way. By then, he should be ready to do another oil change. Oil change number two. Uh, Big Maroon's current odometer is 84,005.9 miles. <laughs> yeah, man. He's getting up there. So I'll probably end it with him in the 100,000, maybe, 100K. Maybe bit mid hundred K around there with me <laughs> before I decide to move on. questions that was asked yesterday on yesterday's con uh, video um, one was somebody pointed me out about if I know about the uh, Walmart 500 parking boot thing yes I know about that um, but not all of them do it just the only ones that I know that do it is in Georgia that I know I don't know if there are any more besides that but All the other ones that we shop at, they don't do it. It's a nice KW. Yeah, they don't do it. I mean, that's why Red McNally, you can look at Red McNally if you want to park at a Walmart for shopping or whatever. Um, it'll tell you if it's okay to park at a Walmart or not, or it'll tell you to ask, call and ask a manager. Like the ones that we shop at on the road, Pryor, they don't do it. Chicota, they don't do it. Um, that one in Virginia where John stops at, right after Bristol, I believe, they don't do it. Washington, Ohio, I believe they don't do it. So it's not all the Walmarts that do that, though. Don't know why, but I guess some of them feel like doing that, I guess.
right, the other one was, if I was to all of a sudden become rich and wealthy, uh, what kind of vehicles would I get? Well, I pointed one of them out in the live stream there. I will get a brand new uh, Ram Dually, like the one that was driving around there at the pilot. Brand new Ram Dually, maybe a brand new uh, Challenger SRT Hell Hellcat in the manual. I wouldn't get nothing too fancy. I'm not really into the really fancy cars like the Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Not my cup of tea. Maybe Maserati, yes. Maybe M Series BMW. <laughs> I kind of want to do away from BMW had them for too long want to do something else so that's what kind of my next vehicle is a dog challenger srt hellcat manual <laughs> hopefully one day yes i know i like high, high dollar end cars it's just the way i am don't know why but on those questions East St. Louis, Illinois, on the Illinois side. Getting ready to come into St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, we haven't been in this way in a while. <laughs> These few weeks. We, you know, this show, this channel. When it's with the other boys, that's their deal. <laughs> you guys know, we've been different areas recently and I only came through this way once in between that timing so that was a lot of that Iowa and Kansas and Oklahoma which I don't mind there's the St. Louis Missouri Arch oh, St. Louis got a game Welcome to Missouri and welcome to St. Louis, everybody. I believe my uncle delivered up this way on Monday. Or Tuesday, whatever day he came in. Earlier in the week. Actually, right, I'll get y'all glove ready, get ready to catch a home run. <laughs> that would suck if one comes hit me on the windshield. That will stun the heck out of me. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't know where exactly he delivered here in St. Louis, but I guess we'll have to stay tuned to find that out for ourselves.
try to push them to Springfield, hopefully. He should be able to make it. If I would have known, I would have done it last night. <laughs> Like I said, I wasn't for sure that I was going to shut down there in Troy because I was thinking maybe I still had a little more hours to keep going or whatever. When I got in, I checked the clock and stopped and said I had so, so much left. I was like, yeah, I can't go any further. Time you get any 30 minutes back. anything so I decided to park it like I said if I have the available hours I like to get it ready past here but it's okay sometimes you win sometimes you lose you know what I mean but it means Move over. Over and out. Right. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. That's all I got for you right now. I don't want to be rude, but I got to start enjoying my uh, food here before it gets cold. Therefore, we'll catch you guys wherever we stop the fuel. Might be right there in Springfield. Who knows? Wherever I decide to come on, we'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all later. Stay safe, everybody. Have a good one.